Hello, pup parents, and welcome to today's episode of the Perfect Pup Podcast. My name is Devin. In today's episode, you are going to learn why your dog sniffs other dogs' butts. It's super interesting, actually, when you get to dive into why it happens and how it happens and all the things that go along with that. So I'm hopeful you will learn a lot from this episode. So let's get right into it. Before we even dive into why they're sniffing each other's butts, we need to talk about our dog's sense of smell generally because our dog's senses are very different than our own. Dogs and humans have what are called olfactory receptors. Essentially, these are what allow you to gather smells from the world around you, make sense of it, transport that information to your brain. We as humans have about 5 million of those receptors. Dogs, on the other hand, have 150 million. So it's about 100,000 times stronger, our dog's ability to smell and make sense of the world around them. But that's not the only factor as to why dogs are sniffing each other's butts and what they are learning from that sniffing interaction. There's what's called Jacobson's organ or also called the vomeronasal organ. Essentially what this is, and I won't dive too into the, into the specifics because it is a little bit technical. Us humans have them as well, but ours don't operate in the same way. There's actually debate in the scientific community as to whether or not our vulnero-nasal organ even functions in the smelling sense. But dogs have a Jacobson's organ that is very, very active. It is located in their nasal passage just above the roof of their mouth. And what it does is it's especially good at reading chemical message or what are called pheromones. So pheromones you can think of as chemicals, uh, hormones that are being ex created externally. So we often think of hormones as internal. The pheromones are kind of the external hormones and animals, dogs in particular, actually use those to send messages to other animals, specifically animals of their same species. And they use those pheromones to communicate a lot of things and can even use them to kind of I don't think manipulate is the right word, but to send messages and change the behavior of other dogs around them. Our dogs have pheromones that they secrete with pretty much every bowel movement. And those are secreted through their anal glands. You've maybe had the experience where you have to have your dog's anal glands expressed. And if you've ever been around for that, it smells terribly. So these pheromones that are coming out as part of the dog's bowel movement through their anal glands, it does have a distinct smell. We don't typically smell it because we smell the stinky poop. But dogs through that Jacobson's organ, through the vomeronasal organ, have the ability to decipher and understand the chemicals that are coming out as part of those pheromones in our dog's everyday secretion from their anal glands. They also secrete pheromones from their ears, but generally our dogs go sniff towards the butt because sniffing right towards your, a dog's face, that kind of face-to-face -face, head on interaction is often seen as aggressive or not welcomed by many dogs. And it's not good dog body behavior to sniff face to face. And that's why you see that curving where, you know, your dog will go up, they'll see another dog, they'll kind of go side to side to each other and they'll start sniffing each other's rear end. Here's what they're learning when they do this sniffing. I find this humorous because oftentimes as humans, if you're out on a walk and your dog comes up with another dog, they, one of the first things they do is they sniff each other's butts and you as humans are standing there staring at each other and then back down to your dogs and wondering, should we make small talk? Should we just let our dog sniff? Should we, you know, should there be conversation happening? And it could be a little bit of a funny, awkward experience, but it's important to know that that sniffing that is occurring is very important for our dogs and how they get to know each other. So here are some of the things that your dog can learn from sniffing another dog's butt. They can learn the dog's gender. They can learn the dog's age. They can learn the dog's sexual status, whether they are intact or spayed or neutered, whether they're in heat. So basically whether they would be a good mating partner or not. They can learn if the dog is sick or generally healthy. They can even pick up on the dog's mood, whether they're gonna be maybe a little more aggressive or a laid back fun dog to play with. Uh, and they can actually learn as well 
if they've met before. Dogs have the ability to kind of store that chemical because each dog's chemical messages, those pheromones are unique to that specific dog. No two dogs are the same. Their pheromones are not the same. And so your dog can pick up if they've met that dog before. And they can also, of course, kind of pick up on what your dog maybe has eaten recently, diet, those types of things. So it's a lot of information. You know, you go to a party or you go meet someone and you ask them, you know, where they're from, where they grew up, maybe what they do for work, about their family. You know, you have this small talk, you exchange pleasantries. Our dogs are doing that by sniffing each other's butts. So while it can seem kind of like a weird, awkward moment, it's very important for them. So many people wonder, well, should I be letting my dog do this? Is it bad? Is it good? As long as your dog and the dog, the other dog involved are both showing calm body language, it's a good thing for them to sniff each other because again, it allows them to pick up that information on each other, see if they want to play, etc. Some dogs just don't sniff each other's rear ends. They, they may be shy or nervous. Uh, they may just, you know, it's, it's just every dog is slightly different. Most dogs generally do it, but some won't. And it's not anything you need to be worried about if your dog doesn't typically do it. The last thought here, and you might be wondering, okay, well, what about us humans? Why do dogs, you know, sniff? Why don't they come up and sniff people's butts? Although I have experienced that it is extremely awkward when your dog does that. Generally speaking, us humans, we put out our pheromones in our armpits and in our crotch. And while dogs typically cannot reach people's armpits, they can reach the crotch of people near them. So now at least if your dog awkwardly shoves their face into a stranger's crotch, you can at least explain to them why that is happening and try to walk away as fast as possible and get yourself out of that awkward situation. I hope you learned a lot on this. I hope that you read the full text right up on this one because I went a little more in depth on some of the more technical things. Simply put, our dogs sniff each other's butts to gather information and learn a lot about that dog, about their history, about who they are, so that they can kind of determine how they want to interact with that dog. So I hope you found this helpful. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you have not already, please leave a review on Apple Podcasts. I read every single one of them. I take the feedback. I love the ideas that you guys have for episodes. So keep them coming via Apple podcast reviews. But other than that, we will catch you on the next episode.